Another big day on the WGN Morning News at 9. Today, let's meet Laura. She found her late father's bucket list, then spent six years completing it. Plus, her life has been a bit, well, complicated. We'll catch up with Ginger Duggar Bolo from TLC's 19 Kids and Counting and Counting On. And it's time for show and tell. You know, just like when we were kids in school. Some special guests are here with some great stuff to share. Live from the WGN studios, this is the WGN Morning News at 9. Morning, Mike. Hello, you guys. With Groundhog Day being today, I thought I'd share with you a lesser known Rankin Bass character. Of course, they're known for those iconic characters in all their TV specials, like this one you see. There's Frosty the Snowman, of course, the Bumble character from Rudolph, and here's some of the others that we all recognize. But every once in a while, they'd introduce a show or a character that didn't have the same lasting power, like the Groundhog. Take a look. Yeah. I've got a day named after me, February, June. That's the day that I decide what the weather's gonna do. February is me, June. Now, this guy didn't catch on. It's from a presentation uh, called Jack Frost, but what makes it even better? The voice actor they chose. Who better to entertain the kids than foul mouthed nightclub comedian <laughs> Buddy Hackett? <laughs> <laughs> Which is what he was known for back then, being yeah. super blue in the clubs and stuff. <laughs> so they put together this kid show. That's our guy, right? There we go. <laughs> it's the time of the show when we do it. It's the time of the show when we All right, number nine, the wine industry has got a little bit of a problem right now. Millennials and Zoomers just aren't drinking enough wine. According to the New York Times, when it comes to American wines, the only growth is coming from people over 60, especially people between 70 and 80, Robin. <laughs> Retail experts think they know why. American winemakers are bad at marketing to young people. They suggest focusing on things that appeal to younger buyers like price point, social responsibility, and health. Mm. That'll work. Hmm. All right, number eight, we told you yesterday about a haunted street in Vermont called the Devil's Wash Bowl. Well, we Googled it, and there's a cozy little cabin for sale on that street. And I got to tell you, it is indeed a little scary. Huh. This shack Ooh. is on 175 acres. Oh for $218,000. And we don't want to be crude, but one of the photos in the listing appears to be uh, the, the dung of some wild animals. Mm. I didn't, dung, I don't huh? think we showed that. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did, okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's to show how rural it is. Uh, we don't know, but that's, uh, that's a creepy place. But what's well. a creepy period? I mean, you just don't know what's out there. Why do the woods scare you, Larry? You think they're... Stabby Ghost. Joe. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You can't see him coming. That's right. Yeah. You and want, those bears. And you don't want to live anywhere where people can't hear you scream. Yes. Yeah. I mean... That's it, too, I think. Well, that's it. Mm -hmm. Just to scream away. All right, number seven. Have you tried Proffy yet? It's protein powder or pre-made protein shake mixed in with your coffee, and it's all over the internet Ooh, right now. Really? All you right. basically take your favorite protein shake okay. and pour it over iced or cold brewed coffee. It's something people are drinking when they wake up before their morning workout. Mm -hmm. mm. So just a little extra bada Ooh, bing. Zip. Yeah. yeah. Will pep in your step when you're walking in your Reeboks at the mall. Do I have a favorite uh, protein powder? Am I supposed to be eating protein powder? Well, no, I think it's only if you're lifting weights, oh, so I think you're no. safe. Uh, number six, yesterday we told you about the dumb waiter. Here's another household feature that's useless today tuberculosis windows. Oh, no. They were common in old tenement apartments of boarding houses in the 19th century, they were mandated by law. Officials believe that cross ventilation helped reduce the spread of disease. These days, you'll still find them in really old buildings because 
uh, landlords figured it was cheaper to install inferior windows instead of adding real windows on the uh, exterior. But by 1901, officials passed laws requiring exterior windows in each room of new residences. So what were these? They were windows that were just inside and didn't have outdoor ven ventilation? Well, no, I think the they, they had to make a window, maybe, perhaps, that wasn't there to begin with, right? Right. Well, it's nice when she asked somebody else to explain the script <laughs> yeah. that they're only reading. Because I was actually I was yeah. listening. I was kind of three quarters listening and didn't uh, follow it. Thank either, you. To be honest All right. With you. I, but I also have problems where I don't have a good attention span. Well, I yeah. get distracted. The easily. two of us are not. Yeah, I mean, for, 20 seconds you know, is a long it. time to focus. <laughs> yeah, that explains a lot. Why yeah, it does. Two people on that side of the yeah. desk wouldn't understand yeah. a story yeah. about windows. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying, it was confusing. It Go was ahead, confusing. Paul. Wonder like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for number five yeah. already, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> it's, the, it's the season of Vanilla Girl Aesthetic. Oh, what's that? Yeah, wow. Vanilla Girl likes neutrals, like white, beige, and light brown. She likes comfortable clothes, like loose-knit sweaters and leggings, paired with short Ugg boots. She's into huge -a which is the Danish term for coziness <laughs> and definitely contentment. Not <laughs> <laughs> but remember, uh, this is also the it girl look of the moment. So the vanilla girl makes comfy look effortless and polished. This it sounds like another annoying little trend, and it is, mm -hmm. but it's all over the top oh, right now. Oh, great. All right. Mm. Uh, number four, when you see this new cereal on a tub, does it, does it make you think of something else? Post Foods calls these OK Go. You get their cereals in these cups and you just add water. And why not milk? We have no idea. Anyway, there is also a band called OK Go who's yeah. been making really yeah. great videos for years. We've showed them on this uh, program. Sure. They want to stop Post from using their band name, so they sent a cease and desist letter a few months back. But now Post is suing them. Oh, boy. To get a judge to rule that they're allowed to use OK Go, but with an exclamation ah, point. I see what they did there. Post says the things the two parties do are clearly unrelated, so there would not be any confusion. But the band says they have had a trademark on OK Go for 15 years yeah. and have been using the name for 25. All right. And here's a funny part. The band has worked with Post over the years on different brands, including Honey Bunches of Oats. Wow. The band says it's a classic case of a multi-billion dollar company stealing something. Mm. Wow. how good those videos were. Yeah. Yeah. All right, number three, Groundhog Day. Are we at number three already? We are. Yeah. Yeah. Take the time, Can you Don't believe it's February 2nd already <laughs> also? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it went by fast. Groundhog Day is a ripoff. It's actually an offshoot of Candlemas, which is a Christian celebration held every February 2nd, exactly 40 days after Christmas. In parts of Europe, it was believed that a sunny Candlemas meant another 40 days of winter. In Germany, they also celebrated Badger Day. According to tradition, if the animal saw its shadow, people were in for four more weeks of winter. If they couldn't find a badger, they used a fox. Wow. And the Pennsylvania Dutch brought the tradition to the United uh, States. Yeah, the there were no Dutch. badgers in the area, so they had to use groundhogs. Uh -huh. Go figure. I never mm. heard that. Yes. Yeah. They've been boring us ever since. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number two, we all know George Washington was a tough son of a gun. Not only did he lead troops in battle during the Revolution and serve as the country's first president, he also fought off a long list of infectious diseases. Wow. Wooden teeth were just the beginning. In his lifetime, Washington had smallpox, malaria, infections, abscesses, tuberculosis, dysentery, and a boil the size of two fists. Oh, oh boy. What makes it all so amazing is there were no vaccines or effective treatments for infections at the time. Washington died in 1799 when he came down with a sore throat ah. and chills after riding around his property in the snow. He lived to the old age of 67. Huh? Well, how do you lance a boil in the oh. 1700s? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let alone one the size of two fists. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a good size yeah. boil. Yeah. Yeah. The tip of a musket. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Huh? yeah. Yeah, they weren't doing anything for you except run. giving you yeah. some rum to drink or oh. something, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, that's fun. 
All right, time for number one. It would be nice if we could solve all of our disagreements with dancing. <laughs> uh, in this school, after school special from 1985, a kid has to go into a new school in Manhattan and he's urged to join a gang called the Purple Falcons. Uh, it's called Ace Hits the Big Time. Put your front teeth way back into your mouth. Oh. And punch your breathy eyes out. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Oh no, oh no. no, no We're gonna no. stretch your thin arms and tie them in a knot. Well, your mean, neck will snap so loud. <laughs> oh, they haven't you actually hit them. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Get some of this, kid. Yeah. Watch this kick the ball change. Change. Yeah. <laughs> Shuffle off the buffalo. <laughs> Is this like a metaphor? I wonder if we should have given a warning for the kids before we yeah. showed this. Probably so. You I think dance or you die. <laughs> <laughs> parents. Oh. If boys say you should stand here, the street becomes the school. Last year we caught a wow. blue polo off, but he looked to not win. Like you. Yeah. We used his head for pinball. The rest for oh. Oh. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! New blood on Falcon turf. Who would like to black uh, his blue eyes? Awful. Yeah. You guys, just you start no thinking sense. everything on TikTok is horrible. You look back at this, you're like, boy, things haven't gotten any worse. They maybe gotten out. better. Oh, after we kill him, strip him down. Jeez. This is going to have a happy ending, I have to believe. Well, we do know he hits the big time at some point. Yeah, yeah. All right. Wow. It's got to be coming any sec. Uh, oh, we didn't stick around for the big uh, ending. Classic uh, Purple Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> That's the night at night. That was horrible. Give me nine, give me nine. Now here's your nine at nine. All right.